Hello everyone and welcome to today's Maths on the Move Active Maths Quiz. Coming up, we've got 10 maths quiz questions for you to have a go at, but instead of writing down your answer with a pencil on some paper, we'd like you to be on your feet and show us your answer through the movement that you choose. So coming up, 10 questions, each one will have three possible answers. If you'd like to keep a record of your scores, you can give yourself a point for each question you manage to answer correctly. Let's get started. Okay, question one. What is the triangle worth in the following question? So it's triangle plus six plus nine equals 28. What is that triangle representing? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about that before the answers come on the screen. Okay, so is it 13, is it 10, or is it nine? If you think it's 13, you should be on your feet doing some star jumps. If you think it's 10, you should be moving your arms and doing some jab punches. And if you think it's nine, you should be doing the pendulum legs movement. Well done, if you were doing star jumps, the answer we were looking for was 13, so if you chose answer A, give yourself a point. Question two. Question two is about coins and amounts of money. So if I have 16 50 pence coins, how much money do I have? If I have 16 50 pence coins, how much money do I have? Have a little think about that before the answers come up on the screen. Okay, is it 16 pounds, 12 pounds, or eight pounds? If you think it's 16 pounds, I would like to do the windmill movement. If you think it's 12 pounds, it's running on the spot. And if you think it's eight pounds, it's the donkey kicks movement. The answer to question two was eight pounds. So if you chose donkey kicks and answer C, give yourself another point. Okay, on to question three. The question is, what is half of 70? What is half of 70? Can anybody work this out before the answers come on the screen? Okay, so our possible options are 30, 35 and 45. If you think it is 30, it's star jumps. If you think it's 35, then it's burpees. And if you think it's 45, then it's high knees. Okay, stop there. If you thought it was 35 and you were doing burpees, then you can give yourself another point. So well done, everyone who managed to join in there. Question four is to do with rounding numbers. Can you round this number to the nearest 100? The number is 6,183. So we're rounding 6,183 to the nearest 100. Do you think it is 6,000, 6,100 or 6,200? If you think it's 6,000, it's bouncing on the spot. If you think it's 6,100, then it's performing that balance. And if you think it's 6,200, then it's the spotty dogs movement. Okay, well done to everyone who was up and moving there because the answer was 6,200. So if you chose spotty dogs, give yourself another point. Question five is a subtraction question. 
Question is, what is 14 less than 72? What is 14 less than 72? See if you can work that out before the answers come on the screen. Okay, so the options are 86, 62, or 58. If you think it's 86, then it's the butterfly movement. If you think it's 62, then it's back flicks. And if you think it's 58, then try to perform that balance. Okay, stop there. If you were trying to hold that balance, well done. You can give yourself another point because 14 less than 72 is 58. So question six. This question is about Roman numerals. Have a look at the Roman numeral shown on the screen now and see if you can convert it to a number. I'll give you a few seconds to think about this one. Okay, so the options are, is it 11, 21, or 51? If you think it's 11, then it's pendulum legs. If you think it's 21, then it's the bend and shoot movement. And if you think it's 51, then it's performing that balance. Okay, so the answer to that one was 21. So if you were doing the bend and shoot movement, you've earned yourself another point. Well done. Question seven now, and question seven is about converting units of measure. So see if you can convert 3.5 centimeters into millimeters. That's 3.5 centimeters into millimeters. Okay, so your options for this one are, is it 35 millimetres, is it 350 millimetres, or is it 3,500 millimetres? If you think it's 35 millimetres, then it's star jumps. If you think it's 350 millimetres, then it's the jab punches. And if you think it's answer C, 3,500 millimetres, then it's pendulum legs. Okay, stop there. If you were doing star jumps, you were right. 3.5 centimeters is exactly the same as 35 millimeters. Okay, question eight is a money question. Have a look at the picture on the screen now and see if you can work out how much money is shown. So how much money is shown in that picture? Can you add up all of those coins? Okay, so your options are, is it £1.50, is it £1.95 pence, or is it £2.05 pence? If you think it's answer A, £1.50 pence, I would like to do the windmill movement. If you think it's answer B, £1.95 pence, it's running on the spot. And if you think it's answer C, £2.05 pence, then it's donkey kicks. Okay, if you were running on the spot just now, you were spot on. The answer was £1.95, well done. On to question nine. Question nine is, what is 61 divided by 10? What is 61 divided by 10? 
Okay, so our options for this one are, is it 610, 16.1, or is it 6.1? If you think it's answer A, which is 610, then it's star jumps. If you think it's answer B, which is 16.1, then it's burpees. Or if you think it's answer C, 6.1, then it's high knees. The answer is 6.1, so well done if you were doing high knees, you can give yourself another point. Okay, the final question, and this question is to do with time. So the question is, do you know how many minutes there are in three quarters of an hour? How many minutes are there in three quarters of an hour? So, is it 75 minutes, is it 45 minutes, or is it 15 minutes? If you think it's answer A, which is 75 minutes, then you should be bouncing on the spot. If you think it's answer B, 45 minutes, then it's holding that balance. And if you think it's answer C, which is 15 minutes, then it's spotty dogs. Well done to everyone who was holding the balance there because the final answer to question 10 was 45 minutes. Thank you for taking part today. If you were recording your score out of 10, keep a note of it and then try to beat your score on the next Maths on the Move Active Maths Quiz. The world around us is changing. You're faced with the new challenge of homeschooling your children. For some, this is a worrying prospect, and for those who are expected to work from home, it's a near impossible task. We worry that our children will fall behind, especially in the core subject areas of English and Maths. Adding variety to your daily routine, whilst keeping your children motivated to learn and remembering to stay active, can be really difficult. The Mighty Maths home learning platform has been developed to help you right now. It keeps your children motivated, boosts confidence and improves attainment in the fundamentals of maths through fun and frequent practice. Using the concept of active learning, Mighty Maths combines fun, on-demand videos to keep your children active with short sets of varied maths arithmetic challenges. Written by teachers and used by primary schools nationwide, Mighty Maths has been developed in line with the national curriculum, so you can rest assured that the questions your children are tackling are appropriate for their age. And using it is really straightforward. There's no need for any printing. Simply select your video, work out with Tom, and then tackle the maths questions, all on any device. The answers are waiting to be revealed meaning your children can evaluate their progress straight away. We want to help as many households as possible during this period, so we've reduced the price from £60 to just £5 until the 22nd of May. This gives you access to a library of workout videos and maths challenges for your child to tackle. And to keep things fresh, content is updated every 20 days. And like you, we want to support our NHS heroes however we can which is why one pound of every Mighty Maths purchase will be donated to the NHS. To start using Mighty Maths in your daily homeschool routine, sign up today.